All right, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Ryan here. Oh man, big day today. Big day. Uh, we're gonna have subscriber Wednesday for the channel, so I'm gonna have everybody you know who's uh, who's got PSN or account in general. Uh, you can um, get on the podcast. So basically, I'm gonna be live on the channel, talking to all of you. Uh, all of you can jump in the party, say what's up to people. You know, say what you need to say. You know, you can get your. You know, if you're a small channel, you want to get out there. You want to get your name out there, and vice versa. You can do that. Um, everything you want. So that's gonna be for you guys. That's my way of giving back to you guys for almost 1,300 subscribers. Thank you guys so much for your undying support. I mean, literally, it was like last month. I was like literally like at 600 subs. So thank you guys so much for the big, big support, man. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. Um, it goes a long way. It really does, man. It really does make me feel like, you know, everything that uh, I've gone through on YouTube is worth it. And uh, I've had a blast doing everything that I've done for you guys. I really have. Um, absolutely have fun, man. It's been a almost, almost blast. But another thing I want to go ahead and get out. Uh, I know you guys are watching the video. So another thing I want to get out there is um, today is my birthday. Kid you guys not. So not only will I be letting you guys on the podcast or on the show live, but you also be chilling with me on my birthday. So my birthday is today. I officially turned 25 today. So hopefully you guys uh, will see we'll have fun. Okay, so later on today. Uh, as far as when time I'm going to do this, um, probably around 6 o'clock. So 6 o'clock, you know, 6 p.m. So I guess that would be around... Um, yeah, I'll see if I can at least try to get it at six. If not six, maybe five. But six, six is really the, is the limit I'll try to get. Um, so it's gonna be me on the podcast. I'm gonna have uh, King Thrash. Obviously, he wants to jump by, so King Thrash is gonna jump by. Say what's up. Um, might have uh, money and double shooter if they wanted to jump in. So we're gonna definitely be live with you guys and taking questions and just hanging out. All right, so. Let's go ahead and uh, get into the news. Again, thank you guys so much for your support. It's been a blast, man. It really has been. Okay. CEX hack uh, sees 2 million accounts compromised. Change password immediately. A CEX hack on its server has left data from 2 million accounts vulnerable, including passwords and credit card details. Log in and, uh, log in and change your passwords. Secondhand goods chain CEX has had its service hacked with up to 2 million accounts compromised. Many consumers use CEX uh, service to sell and buy video games in the UK and are advised to log in and change their passwords. Okay, let me go ahead and tell you right now. If you're watching this video and you're in, and you're in the UK and you use this service, immediately just pause this video, go to your account, change your password. Because the last thing I want you guys to do is lose your credit card info and then, you know, have some dudes use, you know, get accuse of credit card fraud or something like that and these dudes use your account to buy stuff you know what i'm saying go ahead and remove your uh you know do what you need to do and, and fix your uh your passwords change it up all right so some credit card and debit card uh details from customers uh was stolen in the cyber attack though the company is still investigating the extent of the hack cex has issued a statement on the official website revealing the data includes some personal information such as first name surname address Email address and phone number. If this was uh, supplied in a small number of instances, it may include encrypted data from expired credit or credit and debit cards up to 2009. So um, no further financial information has been shared. Uh, they say that an, un an un unauthorized uh, third party has assessed the uh, data and advised users to change their passwords. Following the CEX hack, the company plans to tighten security. We take the protection of customer uh, data extremely serious, uh, seriously and have always had a robust security program in place, which we, uh, we continually reviewed and updated to meet the latest online threats. Clearly, however, additional measures were required to prevent such sophisticated breach occurring, and we have therefore implied or employed a cybersecurity specialist to review our processes. Together, we have implemented additional advice measures of security to prevent this from happening again. Read the statement. Okay. So, uh, like I said, man, go ahead and uh, change your uh, info, guys. Go right ahead and do it, man. I'm going to have this in the link in the description below for you guys to check that out more. If you guys want to read more, I'm just going to stop it right here because it's, uh, that's crazy, man. I don't know what it is about hackers, man. It's like, it doesn't matter how, like, how much money you have in the long run. Like, these billion-dollar companies, these trillion-dollar companies, 
Their networks are never safe. They're just ne- they're never safe. They always can get hacked. Every single c- a company can get hacked at this point. Man, it's crazy, man. And I don't understand what's the point of people hacking these networks. I really don't. You never know. You, you never know what what their f- true motives are. But we shall see. We shall see. Okay, let's get into some PlayStation uh, actual news, like the PlayStation part. I just want to get that out there for those, you know, for my viewers, because I know I have a lot of UK listeners. So, for those of you who have a PSVR, Voltron VR Chronicles will be coming to the PSVR in September. I know my boy Ace Combat is going to have fun with that. He likes that. So, here's a little bit of the plot right here, a little details about it. So, you guys can read that in the description below. There will be linked. I'm not going to spoil anything for you. Just go ahead and read that. All right. All right, um, what's it? Uh, Gundam versus. Now you guys remember this? this I did a few uh, videos on this. Uh, it was like it was always hinted at. Gundam versus Beta has officially uh, been. Um, it's avail. It's available now. It's officially been rolled out. It's available. It's live on PS4. You can check it out. Uh, you can download the guns right now if you haven't. Let's see. So when the beta starts, this September second at 12 a.m. Pacific time, it'll run into September 4th. Okay. So you guys can download it, but it won't be available to you. So you can't actually access it. So you'll have it downloaded on your system, but you can't really play it until September 2nd. So keep that in mind. But if you guys have slow internet and vice versa, you might want to preload this if you're really interested in this. So go ahead and check it out. Uh, the open beta includes player match, casual match, which is 1v1, 2v2, 3v3, ultimate battle, 15 missions, 30 missions, trial battle, one route, and free battle. So go ahead and check that out if you guys are interested. Go ahead. I did a video on this also yesterday, uh, NAC2. Now, NAC2, the beta or the demo was available for uh, European or UK, not, not European, but UK uh, PlayStation Store. Um, apparently, it's now it's, it was available for the US store as well, day one, because I was able to download this day one as well, the day I did the video. I was, uh, you know, I came in late to King Thrash Podcast and uh, it was available on the store. So I was playing it uh, later. I can tell you right now, uh, they definitely improved a lot with the game. Definitely runs a lot better. Uh, I'll say they added some pretty good combat things in here too. It's really interesting. I like how they did it. They got some interesting new puzzles in this, new ways of getting around. Um, it actually feels a lot more responsive than the last one. A lot more responsive. But uh, what's pretty cool about this too is that this uh, demo has PS4 Pro support. Now the Pro support includes HDR, 30 frames per second cap, so it'll be lock at 30 frames per second. High res uh, mode, obviously, take advantage of HDR and 4K, and high frame rate mode. Now, before people really start jumping out the sheet for the high frame rate mode, keep in mind this is a very, and I mean a very heavy CPU game. This game takes a lot on the CPU. Why? Because your character is made out of a lot of pieces. You know what I'm saying? And every time you get hit, you lose pieces, and it, and it literally has to track those pieces and vice versa. So this game, I really doubt it's going to be 60 frames per second. So don't don't think it's going to be 60 frames per second. I would say it'll probably go higher than 30. It'll probably be like 40 if we're lucky. 40 frames, something like that <laughs> if we're lucky. But that's about it. Not, not, not no 60. Just throwing that out there, guys. Just throwing that out there. All right. Alrighty here, the impatient release date confirmed for the PlayStation VR Until Dawn prequel. Now, you guys played the Until Dawn prequel, which was a little shoot thing. There was like a shoot 'em up thing. Um, yeah, that's what this is. Uh, just a sequel to it. So the first up, first up, the impatient is scheduled to ship on November twenty second, twenty seventeen, for Sony's virtual reality headset. The game is a prequel to Supermassive's uh, critically acclaimed team. Oh wait, okay, no wait, let me rephrase that. Okay, this is not a sequel to the uh, shooter game on the uh, PSVR. This is not the sh- this is not the sequel to that. This is actually a legit prequel to the actual main game until dawn. That's cool, but why would they release that just for the VR? That's kind of weird. But okay, you know I'm not hating. If this is a sign, if, like, if they're giving you guys the prequel, you know for VR, then that should be a sign that they're not giving up on the se- on on a sequel period. So I'm looking forward to it. If they make a sequel, it was a good game. Uh, Virtual Rally has said, the game's a prequel to Supermassive's uh, critically acclaimed teen horror camp uh, Until Dawn. It takes place during the 1950s in the Blackwood Sanatorium, obviously, which at this point is uh, in time is in its prime. <laughs> Robsley, okay. Outside of the Melbourne, also confirmed that the Bravo team will be released. Okay. All right. So, not much really I can read on that. It's just giving you details on the game. Uh, but uh, if you played the original, you would know most of this. Um, you would know most of the story of this, so I'm not really going to read that much about it. I mean, I'll leave it in the description, but I'm not going to read much of most about it, okay? So I'm just going to keep that in mind, okay? 
it's a good game. I like the first one, really good. Graphics look great. Uh, the story was actually pretty good, and vice versa. And uh, it was a good, it was pretty good. It's pretty good game. Pretty good game. Um, the other thing they got to do if they're really gonna make a sequel is um, not so much the the choices. The choices were fine. The problem with a lot of people said they ran into the first one. If they said what did they say about the first one that they ran the problem with? Um, oh, your your save. Like sometimes they wouldn't save your choices. Like some people said they wouldn't save their choices, which was weird. Other than that, that's like the only complaint I could think of. But other than that, it was it was a good game. I thought it was a good game. Pretty well done. And uh, yeah, looking forward to the sequel. And last but not least, uh, PlayStation Plus games for September supposedly leaked. Supposedly leaked. Uh, Infamous Second Son was on the uh, list, and this website is saying it's already it's available, will be available for free. So if that's the case, there you go. You guys got a great game. Infamous Second Son will be available for PlayStation Plus members, as well as another game. I forgot the name of it. It was called, uh, what was that other game called? Nah, this is mostly talking about Infamous. What well, is it on here? Let's see. Nope, this is mostly talking about Infamous. But Infamous Sega Sun. I'm, I'm stopping stop it there. Infamous Sega Sun has been confirmed for uh, PlayStation Plus September, supposedly, by this web, by the uh, website on the link here. Uh, everywhere I go, it says uh, it's been leaked. But, hey, this has confirmed. So, that's about it, though. Hope we see you guys uh, at the podcast today. You guys have a good one. Thank you guys again for almost 1,300 subs. You guys stay cool. I will see you guys later. All right, guys. Later, guys.